John, how do you feel about burning the flag? Do you feel like we should have a law against burning the flag? An amendment, if you will? Yeah. Yeah, I do. When I see somebody hear about burning the flag, I think about the time that June and I went to Vietnam in 1969 and saw the burning flesh. The boys coming in from the helicopters on the stretchers with the, the flesh burned, falling off from the napalm on, them, on their bodies. And you never forget the smell of that. Um, but anyway, back to the flag. I think, I think of that, whether we were, you know, whether the Vietnam War was right or not, there are a lot of people who sacrificed their lives for it and their time and their brains. And um, whether or not we were right in being there when we went, it, that wasn't the issue. It's that Americans were there dying for me and, uh, and dying for that flag. So, I cringe. you know, I think if you want to burn the American flag, you ought to take it to Iran. But I still cherish those freedoms, you know. Like, I can, I got, if I got a week off next week, I can go and do anything I want to in this United States. Uh, and there's not many countries you can do that in. And I cherish all of the freedoms that we got, including the freedom, the right to burn the flag. But I also got the right to bear arms, and if you burn mine, I'll shoot you. John, you wrote a song once, and I think you may have written it while you were in the Air Force, called Ragged Old Flag. No, I wrote that in 1975. Did you? Mm-hmm. In Binghamton, New York. I saw you do it on the 4th of July, several years ago, at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Could you do it for us right now? Ragged Old Flag. Mm-hmm. I walked through a county courthouse square, and on a park bench, an old man was sitting there. I said, your old courthouse is kind of run down. He said, no, oh, that'll do for our little town. I said, your old flagpole's kind of leaned a little bit, and that's a ragged old flag you got hanging on it. He said, have a seat, and I sat down. Is this the first time you've come to our little town? I said, I think it is. He said, I don't like to brag, but... We're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there when Washington took it across the Delaware. And it got powder burned the night Francis Scott Key set up watching it right in uh, Say Can You See. Got a little rip in New Orleans with Packenham and Jackson tugging at it, it seems. It almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag, but she waved on, though. It got cut with a sword at Chancellorsville. Got cut again at Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee, Beauregard, and Bragg, and the south wind blew hard on that ragged old flag. On Flanders Field in World War I, she took a bad hit from a Bertha gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and low. By the time that one was through, she was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. The Native American Indians, the blacks, the yellow, the white, all shed red blood for the stars and stripes. And in her own good land here, she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, denied, refused. And the very government for which she stands is scandalized throughout the land. And she's getting threadbare. She's wearing kind of thin. But she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before. And she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning. And we bring her down slowly every night. We don't let her touch the ground and we fold her upright. On second thought, I guess I do like to brag. Because I'm mighty proud of that ragged old.